Welcome to Electro Online. Here's another example of how to solve a distributed load on a beam problem. Notice that the beam is stuck here in the wall, supported at A. We have a distributed load from 0 to 2 meters that increases from 0 to 500 newtons per meter. Then it stays constant for the next 6 meters at 500 newtons per meter. Notice no load towards the end of the beam for the last 2 meters. And the question is, what is the reactionary force at B required to ensure that there's no moment about point A. Again, we have our table, five rows. The first row represents the force of each segment. The first segment is a triangular segment. The area is one half the base times the height. The base is two meters. One half times the base is one. The height is 500 newtons per meter. So we get 500 newtons for the load, uh, the first segment right here. The second segment is 500 newtons per meter for a distance of 6 meters. 6 times 500 is 3,000 newtons. That gives us the total load of each of the load segments. Now the centroid for each segment. The first centroid, again, it will be relative to point A. It will be two-thirds the distance from here to the end of the triangle. Two-thirds because it's the, the point on the left side, the high side on the right. It would be one-third the distance from there to there or two-thirds of distance from there to there. Two-thirds, two meters is one and a third meter, 1.33 meters. The centroid for this segment is right halfway in between. That would be three meters plus two meters, which is five meters. The total moment will be the product of this plus the product of that. 500 times 1.33333 plus, that would be 3,000 times 5, or 15,000, equals, that's 15,667 newton meters. 15,667 newton meters for the total moment. The total force is the two forces added together, 3,500 newtons. And finally, the x coordinate of the centroid would be the total moment divided by the total force. And that would be 4.48 meters. 4.48 meters from point A. If we then use a red pen, my red pen is here somewhere. Ah, hiding. 4.48 meters, that would make it right about there. There's the centroid, the force, the total force, F total acting on the centroid. Now we need to find force B. The condition is that the moment at A is equal to zero. The sum of the moments at A adds up to zero, and that is contributed by, by the total force, F total, times the distance to the centroid, minus force B, because it's in opposite direction, multiplied times a total of 10 meters. Force at B is equal to the total force times the x coordinate of the centroid divided by 10 meters. The total force, 15,667 newtons. The x coordinate, 4.48 meters. Divided by the total length of the beam, 10 meters. And that'll give us the reactionary force required at B. 15,667 times 4.48 divided by 10 equals a total of 7,020 or 7,019. 7,019 newtons of force required at B to make sure that there is no moment at A. And that is how we do that problem.